This is a pyrotechnic whistle. They need two key things to work. A special pyrotechnic composition which has an oscillatory burn rate and an empty cavity just above the burning composition. Pyrotechnic whistles are known to have been in use as far back as the 19th century. Originally whistle compositions were made with picrates, but since picric acid and its salts are highly explosive, modern mixtures involve benzoates and salicylates instead. The magic happens when whistle mix is pressed into a tube. The mix is pressed at very high pressures, so think of it more as a solid and not a tube filled with loose powder. If packed too loosely, it will likely explode due to its rapid burn rate. This is why loose whistle mix powder was originally used for the report or bang at the end of a whistling chaser effect. If you want to find out why loose powder would cause an explosion, check out our video on the different types of explosives, link in the description. The composition changes back and forth between a fast burn phase and a slow burn phase. When this oscillation happens slowly, such as only a few times per second, the device is known as a strobe and produces a visual flashing effect. When this happens much faster, on the order of thousands of times per second, the device has the potential to produce sound at this frequency. The oscillatory rate itself is not enough to cause whistling. You need an open cavity or tube of a certain length above the burning composition to generate the screaming sound we are all familiar with. This open cavity allows a standing wave to form. Standing waves are formed with a constructive and destructive interference that occurs when multiple waves interact. Two waves that are in phase or lined up with each other will constructively add up to a larger wave. If they are identical and 180 degrees out of phase or complete opposite, they cancel each other out entirely. This is actually how sound canceling headphones work by producing another sound wave that destructively interferes with that incoming sound before it reaches your ear. In pyrotechnic whistles, the standing wave is mainly composed of the initial wave interfering with the reflection of that wave off of the discontinuity at the end of the open tube. Another cool example of standing waves are the mock diamonds you see in the exhaust of a fighter jet's afterburner. When listening to a pyrotechnic whistle, you'll notice that the tone gets deeper and deeper as the device burns. This is commonly misunderstood to be the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the change in tone you hear when something moves toward or away from you and is due to the relative motion of the source and the observer. This is a completely different phenomenon and not why you hear a changing tone in a pyrotechnic whistle. A sound is higher or lower in pitch due to its wavelength or frequency. Here is a spectral analysis showing all of the different frequencies of sound coming from an actual pyrotechnic whistle at a particular instance in time during its burn. These humps are harmonics and intermodulation products that don't play a huge role in what you hear since they are significantly lower in amplitude than the fundamental frequency of 4500 Hz. When we look at this fundamental frequency over time during combustion, we can see it gets lower and lower. This happens due to the length of the tube above the composition increasing as the composition burns down. The resonant frequency of a pyrotechnic whistle is inversely proportional to the empty tube above the composition making it similar to an open organ pipe. To see this intuitively, let's look at a typical pyrotechnic whistle. The resonant wavelength will be proportional to the length of the empty tube, more specifically a quarter of the wavelength. As the composition burns down and the empty cavity becomes longer, the longer the standing wave's wavelength will be and is why you hear the tone deepen as the composition is consumed. The burn rate of whistle mix also allows it to work as a whistling rocket propellant. Here is an example of both strobe rockets and whistle rockets being fired at the same time, showcasing what different oscillatory burn rates can accomplish a truly spectacular effect. Like and subscribe, this is Mike from Pyro Innovations and I'll see you on the next one.